Hello there. For anyone watching this, I am grateful, very, very grateful and appreciative. I don't know where else to turn for some assistance here. Um, this is my power system. I have a Renogy 50 amp uh, MPPT DC to DC controller, a 3000 watt Renogy PureSign inverter, and obviously my electrics here. Those are set up, I believe, pretty good. And then this DIY battery that I created, um, these are four 3.3 volt cells. 12-volt uh, battery, 280 amp-hour um, capacity, and this is a uh, JBD uh, BMS system. This basically allows me to monitor uh, what's kind of going on with my system. It came with this handy-dandy LED, or excuse me, LCD, as well as this little Bluetooth device. So I'm going to reference both of those. But this that I have up here, if you can see, is actually the Renogy uh, Bluetooth monitoring. So that tells me kind of like what's going on with the system. But what's really interesting is right now I'm noticing that the Renogy and my BMS should be reading the same, which they are not. And they generally uh, are about the same when they're working right, and I don't know what's causing them not to right now. But the discrepancy for me right now is the uh, Renogy here monitor says it is at 100% battery, showing 13.8 volts. We bring this voltimeter into the picture. Um, I'm going to try and set this right here so I can use one hand. Um, we're going to put that on the positive and the other one on the negative here on the BMS. You can see it agrees. It's around 13.3 volts. Also after the BMS, the same thing. Now earlier I was having a different problem. I had a daily uh, 200 amp uh, BMS here as well. And uh, I was getting different readings on the, uh, the input and the output on the BMS. So now seeing it producing the same lets me know that the BMS is working. And I really did think that that was going to fix everything, but it clearly did not. So my real issue is how do I know if I'm getting 13.8 volts from these cells very clearly, how do I know that it is really fully drained? Because right now this says it is charging. I have my... Uh, Renogy uh, power inverter on, and I have this 120 volt fridge over there plugged in, and it is currently on as well. So it is on, meaning it's running, but the compressor is not running. It's pulling right now, just uh, that's the only load I have right now. If you can see this on the BMS monitor, it is showing me I have a half an amp being pulled. But what's interesting is when the fridge compressor kicks on, meaning it gets too hot in the environment outside and it needs to kick on to basically get back up to temp. I will see this going from 0% charging to 0% fully discharged. And there are times, like if I run the alternator, this guy will start charging, but it goes so slow. Right now it is sunny-ish outside uh, at home. So I guess it is pulling some voltage down from my solar panels, but it's not charging enough uh, for where it is discharging for the fridge. So the issue that I'm having is I want to know if this battery is bad. And I have a buddy who has a Battleborn 100 amp hour battery and I plugged it in and I just basically swapped. I circumvented the BMS. I just took the B minus and went straight. I took the positive and went straight to that terminal and it powered the fridge just fine. I didn't have any issues. I didn't get a beep from my power inverter. And I have a induction cooktop, and that induction cooktop was able to go as well. Now, that induction cooktop pulls about 1,200, 1,500 watts, which is quite a bit. My fridge, when the compressor pulls on, only kicks about 600 at most when it's first going, but then steady, it only holds at about like 70, 80 watts. So that's not a, not a ton. It should handle that just fine, and it looks like it's handling all my 12 volt electrics just fine. It's really when I introduce in the inverter. So even right now, if I was to turn on like, let's say my Max Air fan, which is a 12 volt that only pulls about three watts, even though the battery says, here we go, says recharge battery now, the fridge just kicked on. So it's pulling five amps of current. Um, so it says recharge battery. It's not just at zero. It's like, hey, what are you trying to do to me, man? But even with that, if I turn on my fan, you know, he's not completely drained. It's certainly got enough to be able to power um, a 12-volt uh, device. So 
I'm not worried about it on the 12 volt, but I want to know how can I tell if my battery is fully bad? I'm getting the reading, even when this is zero, this is telling me again, let's put this on the positive, put this on the negative, it is telling me I still have 13.1 volts, which is still pretty good. It's above, you know, 12.8 or whatever you want. Usually when the alternator is running, sometimes I'll see 14.4. Um, but when I go to the Renogy app, it's just, let's refresh that. When I go to the Renogy app right now, it basically is telling me I have 13 volts and it's at 88%. So where is the discrepancy between the BMS saying it's at zero and Renogy, which is telling me that it's at 88%. So anyone that can help, this was a, you know, you can buy on Alibaba, the four cells, uh, 280 amp hour. I paid about, you know, 500 bucks, all said and done once it was shipped and everything. And so I wanna prevent having to need to buy three Battleborn batteries, lithium batteries, to be able to accommodate, let's say that induction cooktop, which is what I want to be able to run along with my fridge at all at all hours. So, um, anything that I, anyone can help me with, I'm very grateful and appreciative of. But I'm pretty sure I've got this ho system hooked up just fine because when I plugged in the Battleborn battery, everything worked. So, how do I know that this is bad, or how can I charge this appropriately? How can I get the best reading? How do I know, you know, exactly? why this 280 amp battery is not working. The, uh, the, the battery is set up in, in parallel. I believe I have all the terminals working. I mean, it's obviously getting a reading. Sometimes I do see this get up to 100%. Um, I'm gonna quickly just show you. Uh, this is me swapping out the screen just for, I don't even know what these are called. I think these are called JST connectors. I need to probably get a Y just so I can have the Bluetooth one. That's this guy and the screen on at the same time. But, you know, on my phone device, when I go to Bluetooth, it also shows me the history, um, which is great. But, let me just refresh this. Let's hit connect. So it's telling me I've got zero statement of charge. I have 0.32 amp hours right now of battery. Um, the wattage is pulling in, it's getting sunnier. So outside, you know, it's pulling in 115 watts. I actually have 500 watts on the roof, so I also don't know how to best discern how to get a better reading there. Um, but if I look at the history, I can see here, and I hope you guys can see this, I can see here, basically in the middle of the day, it jumped up. You can see capacity there is 250, 300. Hoping you can see that. Um, and then it kind of just drops down. So it started out at the day, the green line is what we're looking at, the, uh, the capacity there. And, you know, it jumped up about an hour ago, up to 100%. And I don't know what causes that other than obviously the solar running. Um, and all of a sudden, what just pulls on it to drop it down to zero. So I think the battery is good because I do sometimes get a reading here that it recognizes, you know, I've got 280 amp hours. But, um, yeah, the difficulty for me is in figuring out why when I swap into a 100 amp hour Battleborn, um, why that one works and mine doesn't. I don't know if it's the amperage, the wattage, the voltage, the BMS. The BMS is a 200 amp um, uh, BMS system. I have the balance lead disconnected properly, that much I know. So anyone that can help me that's built one of these, played with one of these Chinese Alibaba batteries, I did get it to save money because the batteries are the most important, uh, I'm sorry, the, the largest cost item. But yeah, kind of bewildered and a little puzzled and I'm hoping I don't have to buy, you know, $1,800 worth of batteries uh, just to offset and supplement this guy. I love the size, he's already built in here and I like the fact that I can, you know, do it myself, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So thank you again. Hope you guys are having a wonderful week, and I am very grateful and appreciative for any feedback you've got.